Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Noelle. So a couple months ago actually I spotted this sofa at my Goodwill and I loved it. I saw so much potential in it. It looks a little bit run down here but it was a slipcover sofa so I knew it would be super easy to clean up and the cushions were actually down filled so I was like this is a really good quality sofa and you guys it was only ten dollars so I knew I couldn't pass it up even though I didn't have a spot for it in my house I knew that I wanted to fix it up so I'm excited to share that process with you guys today and excited to see what you guys think about it so let me know in the comments below what you guys think after this is all done so let's go ahead and get into it the first thing that this couch needed was a really good wash so I wanted to see how much of the stains I could get out and really see what I was working with. And luckily this sofa has a removable slip cover so I went ahead and took off the slip cover as well as the seat cushions. And once I got all of that off, I went ahead and stuck it in the wash and just added some OxyClean so that that would really help to brighten it up and add some bleach and detergent as well and just put on a delicate cycle to wash. I've been so inspired by Amber Interior style lately and I'm absolutely in love with these dark sofas she's been using so I thought since this sofa had some stains on it, dyeing the fabric dark would be a great way to cover that up. So I went and picked up 10 bottles of this Rit Dyes All Purpose Dye in the color Charcoal Gray and also picked up two of their Color Stay Dye Fixatives. Their website says that you want to use one bottle per two pounds of fabric and a little more if it's darker color, so that's when I went by. I decided to dye the slipcover in my bathtub so that there would be enough room, so I went ahead and lined the bathtub with a plastic shower curtain just to prevent the dye from staining the tub and just secured it with this piece of tape and then the little tabs that stick to the bathtub. Then I started filling up the bathtub with as hot of water as I could get it out of my faucet because they recommend like 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Next I went ahead and added the dish soap that they recommended and they recommended about a tablespoon and then also some salt. And then I just began pouring in the dye. Once I got a couple bottles in, I went ahead and tested out the color on a shop rag to make sure it was right and just added the more color until it was the color that I wanted it to be. And I ended up using nine bottles here. So once it was as dark as I wanted it to be, I went ahead and took my slip cover, which was damp from being in the wash, which you really want it to be damp and I put it into the dye bath and then made sure that it was completely submerged so that the color would be even. And then I added the seat cushions one at a time and pushed them down into the dye as well. Like I said, so that they would be nice and coated with the dye and there wouldn't be any unevenness in the color. The instruction said to stir for 30 minutes and up into an hour until you get the color that you want. So I just kind of pushed it back and forth around the bathtub with this spoon for about 30 minutes. And I didn't have a ton of room to move it around and I think that this ended up being a bit of a problem later. It was at this point that I realized that I had to actually drain the dye out of the bathtub so I felt like an idiot because there was probably no point in lining the bathtub with plastic. So I went ahead and turned on cold water and started to pull out the plastic so that the dye would kind of get more diluted and watered down and hopefully not stain my bathtub as I'm pulling out this plastic. 
but you can definitely see this dark rim around the bathtub but I actually was able to get that out later just by filling it up with some diluted bleach water. After dyeing the fabric, you should rinse it out with cold water until the water runs clear. So I did that for a while with the shower attachment. And then I decided it would probably just be easier to run them in the washer on a rinse cycle. So I went ahead and threw them in the washer and did that. And after that rinse cycle, I noticed that the slipcover part was very splotchy in some places. So to fix this, I decided to mix up some more dye in a spray bottle and only apply it to the areas that were lacking in color. That way, the only parts that got darker were the light spots and made sure to really saturate these areas. And then I let that dye sit on there for about two hours. And then I went ahead and ran it through a rinse cycle again. Once it was rinsed out, I added the color fixative to the washing machine and the detergent dispenser and ran it on a quick wash cycle. And then I ran it through another quick wash cycle just with using mild detergent. And once this wash cycle was done, I went ahead and checked to make sure the dye looked good. And then I just transferred it over to the dryer and ran it on a delicate cycle. And that is gonna finish off this dyeing process. So here's a look at what we started out with and here is how this piece transformed. you guys I am so happy with how this piece turned out I it just fits all of my amber interiors design dreams and I could not be happier with it I don't know if we'll be keeping it because I don't know that we can keep it with white dogs in our house because it's already getting covered in white fur so I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below, and if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I make new videos like this every single week on home decor and thrift flips and home hauls and all of those good things. Room transformations, I just shared this office makeover in my last video, so definitely go and check that out, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.